What other property do you claim that he has of yours? He has a snowblower that he used for the snow removal that I paid for. I don't care if you paid for it. You were living as a family. Okay. Next. All right, I have a TV and a DVD player he came and took from the house while I was in bed sick as a dog. He came to the house and took well, it. Well, just a second. He won't return it. Just a second. I'm sorry. Was this property that was in the house that you were living together since 2011? No, he was living in the shed. Why was he living in the shed? Because he got a traveling job, and at that time, we weren't going to be living together. He was going to be traveling. When he lost the job, like every other job, and came back, his father wouldn't let him stay with him. He had nowhere to go. This TV, who purchased it? Me. Did you give it to him as a gift? That's no, what it was says. for all of us, for when we got a place. When was it purchased? Last Christmas. Were you living together Christmas time of last year? He was living in the shed on my property. I okay. wasn't. The TV, do you have it? Yes, ma'am, I do. Why did you take it? It was a gift of mine. It was, it was actually given to me. I was living in the shed, and the reason that she even purchased the TV to begin with wasn't for, you know, you know, for so she's saying for her family, it was because her brother had actually destroyed one of my TVs and the TV on the other property we lived in that was for our family was being used in the house and that's why I got the TV. What kind of TV did you get? It's a, like a, one of the knockoff Walmart brands or whatever. It's a $140 TV, just simple. Okay, TV's yours. What else? What else? Damages he's done to our property. Listen, you live together as a family without benefit of marriage. That you decide to do. When you live together, because I read part of your complaint and it was actually silly. You say he tried to fix things around the house, but everything he fixed, he actually made worse. Well, don't we all have a mate that tries to do things and they say, ah, oh, sure, I can do that. Let me fix that. Before you know it, you've got a $7,000 bill because something is totally destroyed. Then if it doesn't work out, you don't get to sue for those things. So he's getting your truck back unless he registers it, only because you can't be liable for something that he has. But once you sign the title over to him, it becomes his. Mm -hmm. Now, what items of his do you have in your house? I gave him all his items except for these guns he's asking for and his mm -hmm. counterclaim. Where are they? They're still in the shed. When he came to get up, pick up his stuff, I contacted the police and asked them specifically about the guns because he is a convicted felon. One of his charges is for attempting to possess a gun as a convicted felon. Well, what and kind they of told guns are these? Are these BB guns? Yeah, but the police told me don't give him any weapons. Okay. These are BB guns. But is he that also what you're telling me? Some of them. Yes, they are. And yes, I do have a felony. And the day that I got the felony was because... I don't care. Don't well, tell okay, me. Well, I talked to the I, state police I and don't they told me I could, I could own these. Just a second. I don't care. Okay. They're BB guns. Yes, ma'am. Where did you get them? I, the ones that I purchased are actually used for hunting. That's why I bought them, for hunting small game like rabbit. I bought them at Ginter Mountain, and I actually have printouts of every one of them. I don't have the original sheets, but I have printouts of how much they cost and where they are purchased. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. How far do you live from each other? Ten minutes. The order is going to say that you have to bring all of the weapons that are in there mm -hmm. to your local police precinct. Okay. Indicate to them that they belong to Mr. Dodd. Mm -hmm. He will come in to get them. Okay. That's within the next two weeks. Okay. Give him notice. All right. Do you understand? Yeah. So then you go and make your That's argument to the police. If the police say you can have those BB guns or whatever they are, they'll give them to you. Is that reasonable? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. We're done. Thank you.